30 seconds and counting. Stu Russo just said, thanks, it's been a good count. That's the voice of a NASA flight controller, and the Stu Roo he is referring to is Stuart Rusa. And Stu Roo, Stuart Rusa, was seconds from being launched into space. Stuart Rusa was born in Colorado, but grew up in Claremore, Oklahoma. In 1966, Rusa, then an Air Force test pilot, was selected by NASA to join the astronaut corps. And on January 31, 1971, he, along with the first American astronaut, Alan Shepard, and Edgar Mitchell, were launched into space aboard the Apollo 14 mission, the third landing on the moon. Rusa graduated from Claremore High School, then attended Oklahoma State University for a short time before transferring to the University of Arizona, then the University of Colorado. He dropped out of school in the early 1950s and served as a smoke jumper with the U.S. Forest Service. He joined the Air Force, completed gunnery school at Del Rio Air Force Base, then graduated from the Aviation Cadet Program, where he earned his wings. He returned to Colorado to complete his degree in aeronautical engineering. Rusa served as a research test pilot at Edwards Air Force Base when NASA came calling. He was in the backup crew for Apollo 9. Ignition sequence start. Five, four... Three, two, one, zero. Then the primary flight crew for Apollo 14, the flight that returned Alan Shepard to space. We have liftoff with Apollo 14, three minutes past the hour. The tower is clear. Houston is controlling. Rusa was the sixth man to orbit but not land on the moon. That honor went to Shepard and Mitchell. Tilt is because we landed on the slope. The uh, landing gear struts appear to be about evenly depressed. Roger out. And moving around, getting familiar, getting familiar with the surface. Oklahoma is the only state to have an astronaut fly in every phase of the manned space flight program. You can see a permanent exhibit on Oklahomans in space at the Oklahoma History Center, Northeast 23rd Street, just east of the state capitol in Oklahoma City.